What's up? Hope you're doing very well today. My name is Mr. Green and welcome back to Bluey the Video Game. We are now going to go into the next episode to see what kind of adventures ourselves and Bluey are going to get into. Let's go and meet Uncle Stripe and Muffin at the park. Oh no. What? Oh no. Not Sticky Gecko. This episode of Bluey is called Rescue. Come on, kids. We're going to be late to meet Muffin and Uncle Stripe. But I have to catch Gecky. Oh, Bingo, that's going to take a long time. We'll have to help Gecky get down. Good idea. Let's grab something to stand on. Did you know Gecko toes can stick to basically anything? And their eyes are 350 times more sensitive than our own eyes. It's still too high. We can't get it. Come on, kids. Let's go to the park. I'll get Gecky something soft to land on. Just in case. Come on, Squirt. You can ask your Uncle Stripe about the next piece of the map. Hooray! Also, did you know gecko sounds include barks, chirps, and clicks? Also, geckos can detach their tails and grow them back. That's pretty neat. We're here! Where are we meeting Muffin and Stripe? Let me see. Ah, at the Castle Fort. Castle Fort? This place is massive. Bluey, where is the Castle Fort? I don't know, but I know how to find out. Let's go to the top of the slide hill. Oh, yeah. We'll be able to see the whole park from up there. Speaking of parks, what is your favorite thing about a park? All right, let's head up there and see if we can spot Muffin and Stripe. Okay. There's all kinds of pieces of equipment like swings and slides. What is your favorite thing? Or is it just hanging out with your friends and family? Whoa, what a view. Keep your eyes peeled for the castle fort. I can't see it. Me neither. There's too many trees in the way. What if we give you a piggyback? You can see even further from higher up. Ooh, okay. Come on, bingo. Scanning, scanning, scanning. Look over there. And see, that's what we call teamwork. They're working together to try to find their friend Muffin. And this is the way you do it. You just have your uh, buddy get on your shoulders and <laughs> have that extra advantage. Found them. Wackadoo. Lead the way, girls. All right, now it's time to go and hang out with Muffin. And I'm going to give you a little clue. We are about to play a fun game here in just a little bit. It's going to be a little difficult for you to possibly play at home or depending on where you're at. But we can still use our imagination and play the game. Oof, looking sharp, mate. Ah, uh, yeah, Muffin wanted to play dress-ups. Ooh, nice tiara, Muffin. Thanks, I'm a princess. What should we play? Oh, let's play Ground is Lava. Oh, yeah. I don't think princesses can play Ground is Lava. I think they just stand around and wave and look pretty. Oh. I know. You can be a princess in a tower, and we have to play ground as lava to rescue you. Yeah, but you have to wear dress-ups too. Okay. Done! Yes, Muffy? Where are my dress-ups? We need them to play ground as lava. Uh, I think you left them over at the playground with the flying fox. We'll go get them. All right, gang, let's go. All right, so now we're on a mission to go find the dress-up item so we can play The Floor is Lava, because that's what we're about to do. And as we're on our way over, get ready, because we're going to do a small version of The Floor is Lava. All right, party people, where are those dress-ups? I think I see them. Good stuff. Let's grab and go. Stop. You're in the lava. What? We're playing grounds lava, remember? Oh man, this lava is everywhere! But how do we get to Muffin's dresses without touching the ground? We'll have to climb and jump our way there. So this is a great game to play at a park or in an area where you have plenty of room. Hooray! We got it! Nice job! Let's get to the next one! And as you see, Bluey and Bingo, they are just jumping from one item to the next without touching the floor. It's pretty far. It is. But we can use that frog to jump and reach there. If something's worth doing, it's worth doing well. Correct. <laughs> I agree. If something's worth doing, it's worth doing well. You should always do your best. Good one, girls. Let's head back to play with Muffin. <laughs> All right, so we have the items. So we can dress up and look really cool or funny, depending on what item you will get to dress up as. I guess this depends on what uh, Muffin wants us to wear. 
So we're going to head back and uh, play one more time with Muffin. The floor is lava. We got them. Thanks, Bluey and Bingar. All right, you legends have fun. Dad's going to put his feet up. No, you have to play two in the dresser. Oh, uh... Please? Oh, okay, one game. As I said, remember, if you play this game, make sure you have room and an area where you can jump from one item to the other without breaking yourself or anything else. Is everyone happy with their dress-ups? Yes! No! You look beautiful, mate. But there's more in the dress-up box if you want to change your costumes. Well, of course we can change, but I'm not going to change Bingo. Bingo has the tiara, a tiara, and I don't want to take that off of her. So we're going to make sure she keeps it. Okay, so here's the obstacle course. We are here at the playground. There's a bunch of slides and a bunch of other little areas, tables and uh, All right, seats. Time to rescue the princess. Me, I'm so excited. Okay, gang, like before, we have to find a way through to rescue Princess Muffin. Okay, but we have to do it without touching the lava. And this game is really good because you have to do some critical thinking. You have to think, can I jump from this area to the next? Can I move from here to the other without falling? And as you can see, oh, uh, Bingo, crushing it. Princess Muffin, we're here to rescue you. <laughs> Good. It's tiring waving and looking pretty. This is your reward for rescuing me. Ooh, shiny. Thanks, Muffin. And congratulations, we have completed the obstacle course. We have found and saved Muffin and got our shiny little flamingo trophy. Excellent job. Let's go, Muffy. we got to get back for lunch. Okay, Dad. Oh, girls. Was there anything you wanted to ask Uncle Stripe before we go? Oh, yeah. Uncle Stripe, do you remember making a treasure map when you were a kid? Remember? How could I forget? I still keep it with me in my wallet. Really? Here, have a look. Wow. Uncle Stripe, what is the treasure? Well, when we were kids, we had the greatest toy in the world. It was... Dad, I'm busting! Let's go! Uh, in a minute, Muffy. What? I'm busting! God, sorry, girls. We have to go. Don't lose that! Bye, Bluey! Bye, Bingo! Bye, Bye Muffin! Look, Bingo! We got another piece of the map! Just one more piece to go. Hooray! Great job! You finished the episode! Now you can play Ground is Lava. Great job finding that treasure map piece. You can now go and find these collectibles in the playground. Where do you want to go? Excellent job. As I said, if you want to play the amazing and fun game, The Floor is Lava, make sure you set up a nice, easy area for yourself so you can play without getting hurt or breaking anything. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.